Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to give you the complete beginner's guide on how to iron a dress shirt. Let's get right into it. All right, so just before we get started, here's a couple items that you might need uh, to iron. One is, of course, the iron. Two is the dress shirt that you're going to be ironing. And then three, uh, this is optional. You can use an ironing board like this, or you can use any hard surface like a table. Before I iron any item of clothing, I always check the tag just to double check. What you want to see here, what you're looking for is an ironing symbol. So this dress shirt has an iron symbol and it's always good to check the tag because it might indicate what heat setting you need it on. This one doesn't, but depending on the fabric of the shirt, it might require a low or maybe a higher heat setting on your iron. All right, what I'm gonna do is actually plug in my iron, but before I do that, say if your shirt indicated that it needed a low heat setting, on most irons, you'll have either a dial and maybe some numbers on it. If it was low, you could put it down to three, two, or one. Um, higher heat, heat setting, you can go up a little bit. You'll also see here that there's different uh, steam functions. The hotter the iron is, the more steam uh, it'll actually produce. With my shirt, it didn't indicate if it was low or high, so I might just put it somewhere in the middle, maybe about four. So you waited about a minute or two, we can now start the ironing process. If you wanna double check your iron to see if it's actually heated up, you can just put your hand directly in front of it, not on it, but if you feel heat, we're ready to start. Now, just before we start, I wanna indicate one area where I would not iron at all. And this area is actually the, the collar. I wouldn't iron this area because one, it doesn't really wrinkle at all. If you were to feel around the dress shirt, once you get to the collar, it's actually a stiffer material and it's, it wants to stay like that. So if you were to iron over it, there's a good chance that, you know, there might be some creases in it and that could actually stand out when you're wearing it. So again, I would avoid the collar at all costs. Besides that, most of the other areas are fine to iron. Um, I tend to be very careful going down the dress shirt where the buttons are, just because, you know, I don't really want to actually hit one when we fall off. You never know what could happen. But I would, uh, if you're ironing in between, just proceed with caution. But avoid the collar at all costs. Like I said, it doesn't really have to be ironed because it doesn't normally wrinkle and it stays like that. So just a heads up. So when you go to put out your dress shirt, you can just lay it out flat and you try and Try and get some of those rough areas out. Try and flatten all those extra high spots. And you can use the, the seam for the buttons as a guide when you're ironing. Like I said, I tend not to iron this part, but the rest of this is fair game. So what I wanna do is take my iron and I just wanna make some small passes. I don't really wanna leave this on a specific area for too long. Uh, just because it may actually uh, leave like burn marks if if you get to that point if it if it's on for that long but again just up and down you're just going nice and slow like I said you can use that seam as a little reference point I'm not going too far but just there from a couple passes you can see that the uh, wrinkles are starting to get out once you find that hey I've gotten most of them out you can flip to the other side where the buttons would be. Again, use the same reference point and do that. And then you can actually flip to the back side and sort of do the back. Here's just an example. Say if I was going to iron the back side, um, this is how I would lay it out. If you are using an ironing board, um, you'll notice that there's a little point here at the end. This is pretty good because if you have that collar there, you can put that collar right up to the top. It'll sort of hold it in place. So then you can take your iron, go all the way down your the backside here, and you won't have to worry about, you know, stuff moving around. It shouldn't, but there's a reference as to how you would do the back. Finally, if you were going to do the sleeves, there's two options that you can do here. One, and this is a, how I have it right here, I put my sleeve out and I sort of stretched it to try and avoid getting the fabric from the front caught underneath. Because if I was to iron this, if I have it out flat, it should be okay. But if I have any creases from the 
other side underneath, guess what? That's going to actually show up on the dress shirt somewhere. So you can do it like this. You can spread it out and iron the sleeve like that. I'll show you option two right now. The second option you can do to iron your sleeve is you can go find a kitchen towel or a tea towel about the same uh, length as your sleeve or try to be. What you can do is you can fold it lengthwise. You might have to do it a couple times. But what you're going to do is now you have something like that. You're going to feed that up your sleeve and it gives it a little bit more space. Like I, like I said last step, um, you might get those marks from the opposite side and when you iron it might show up. With the towel now, it's giving you a little bit of a barrier. So if the towel is flat, there's less a chance that those marks are going to actually show up. So I folded my towel here and I fed it down my sleeve like this. Now you can directly iron right on here. And like I said, it's going to give you a little bit more space on your sleeve. So there's a, a lesser chance of those marks showing up from the opposite side. And again, just go down, go slow. Once you're done the arm, all you have to do is take the towel out and guess what? That's, that's not a bad uh, ironing job for your sleeves. I hope you enjoyed that video. That was a complete beginner's guide on how to iron a dress shirt. We looked at the how to iron sleeves, the front and the back, and I gave you some tips on how you can do it. If you liked any of these tips or this video, don't forget to subscribe and like. And I have a whole bunch of other ironing videos on my channel. Feel free to go look at those. But hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.